Okay, so we're going to do the gearbox oil now. And as always, we've got a tray under it, the top plug here, and the bottom plug here. The HW4 Hex Allen is the, the size, top one, and the bottom one's just under there. As always, my pro tip for this is to do the top one first, so slacken the top one off before doing the bottom one. The reason for this is if you do the bottom one and you start draining the oil out, and then all of a sudden there's a problem with the top one, so you strip it or it's just seized, then you're pretty much screwed for getting the oil back in. So if you can free the top one off first, brilliant, and then tackle the bottom one. Um, otherwise, like I say, you're gonna run into a bit of trouble. So hopefully you can see the top and bottom one there where I've set the camera up. Now I have sprayed some penetrating oil on and let that soak for a while, just in case it is bound up. I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the Allen in. There we go, coming out really nice. There's the top one out. As you can see on the top one, it has got the magnet on. Um, normally this is only found on the bottom. Now it might be that the top and bottom ones have been put in the wrong way around or that they've both got magnets on, but we'll soon find out. So we'll do the bottom one now. Now we've got the top one out. And I don't know if you can see that, but the bottom one is coming out really well as well. So we'll just get all that out. I can see a little bit of oil coming out there already. There we go, gear oil's coming out. And that bottom one has a magnet on as well, which we'll set to one side. So what we'll do now, I'll just let the sole drain out. Um, probably leave it five, 10 minutes just to let it all come out. And then we'll start to put the new oil in. One thing to do when the oil is coming out is to check the color of the oil. You're looking for sort of milkiness, anything like that. The smell, the overall appearance of it, if there's any particulates, any lumps in it just to get a good idea of the, the condition in the gearbox. This oil looks pretty good. There's no milkiness to it. I can't see anything, any large metal filings coming out. Like I say, these, um, these sump plugs have magnets on, which collect some of the filings. And there's hardly any on these ones. So overall, I think the gearbox is in pretty good condition. Okay, so all the oils come out now, or at least 99% of it has, it's just a small trickle coming out. I'm happy with the condition of the oil. So we've got the Quicksilver bottle here, taking the adapter off and basically it just screws into the, the lower Make some space for it. Let's say it just screws into the, the lower plug threads down here. So we're going to pump it from the bottom to the top. So we'll get that screwed firmly in. And now it's just a case of pumping that oil in until it comes out the top plug hole. Another thing to be mindful of is to also ensure that you get the old seals out. Sometimes they come out with the, with the plugs, but these ones were stuck in the housing. So just make sure you get both of them out. I'm gonna go ahead and clean up the old sump plugs as well. Just get most of the dirt off the, uh, the pickups. Just clean the threads up a bit. And we've got the last one here as well. You can see a few filings on there. As long as they're not, as long as it's not a sort of massively covered in filings. It's nothing to worry about because it does wear naturally as it goes in and out of gear. But if there was if, if there was massive amounts of filings in would it be worried because obviously it means the, the clutch is engaging a bit too aggressively, maybe the idle's set too high. Or we've got an issue with the gears. So once they're cleaned up we've got two new OEM seals to go on. simple as just placing them over, pushing them down at the bottom and they're ready to go back on. No particular order, 
to which way they go back in because they're both the same. So that's the oil bottle screwed into the bottom there and we'll just go ahead now and pump away on the pump until it comes out the top. We'll just start off there and we'll cut back to when we're finished. There you can see we've reached the top there now as I'm pumping it it's coming out the top. So what we do now is we put the top plug back in first and then we can remove the bottom plug without losing too much oil because what does this Putting the top plug in first creates a sort of partial vacuum so we can quickly remove the bottom one and then put the bottom plug back in. So we'll just start the top one off there. And then we get the socket on it. Just seat them firmly. They don't, you don't have to. You don't have to go crazy on it. And now, same for the bottom one. Just take the bottom, the filler out there that I was using. And because we've got the top one in, it sort of creates like a partial vacuum. And we can just start the bottom one off there by hand. And it has sort of plugged the hole, and we can just come in. Move that out the way with the socket and just nip that up. Again, it doesn't have to be overly tight, it has got a washer on it. There we go, and that's them bottom and top done. I'll give it a wipe down. And there you go for an e tech gearbox oil change.